Hey guys, uh, today is going to be a really short project, uh, or this video, but just because I wanted to follow up on the one I did where I did the trailer accessories. There were a couple of parts that hadn't come in yet that I've added since, and or I'm about to add. I want to show you that as well. I think they're kind of cool, so uh, stick with me. It'll be a quick video, uh, but it'll be worth it. All right, welcome to TWC Projects. <laughs> few additional accessories that I added. Uh, I had ordered uh, this box from Amazon. Uh, I wanted, uh, which is kind of cool because it, I wasn't sure that it, if it would match my fenders or not for sure. It looked like it would, uh, but it did. It's nice. It's got the handles. It's got a lock on it. Um, I also uh, ordered this. Uh, the first lock I had just didn't work for the trailer ball uh, lock itself, and I'll show you how that goes on. And then I just grabbed uh, another big heavy duty padlock from um, Harbor Freight. Uh, I think just, you know, if I park this thing overnight somewhere or I'm going to be away from it for a while, I'll have a chain that goes through the frame and up onto the the uh, trailer itself just for a little extra protection and discourage anybody from getting the idea, any ideas. So anyway, uh, let's get started with uh, putting this stuff together and uh, I'll show you a little bit of what I did here. So with the box, I, I really like this idea that it had handles on it, even though I definitely need to mount it um, semi-permanently to, uh, to the trailer itself. So I came up with this idea that I would um, be able to have uh, cut a couple holes uh, in the bottom of this and then have these pins come up from the trailer bed so that with some little uh, uh, bushings on them as well so that I could uh, easily remove, like I can pull these little pins out and then pick the whole toolbox up with the handles and uh, if I wanted to carry it and move it anywhere. So uh, for the most part though, I'll probably leave it permanently. The other thing I needed to do was um, when I received it, it, it didn't have any kind of, uh, it was just metal, right? So I went and I, I went over to Lowe's and I bought this foam window seal um, and this uh, was a 3 8 inch by uh, 17 feet. So I was able to do my trim all the way around um, as well as I also put some on the lid itself just to make sure that it, it kind of really seals tight when I pull it down and lock it and kind of keep the moisture out. If it's a heavy rain and you're traveling on the highway, you know, sometimes that, that water can blow up inside. So I thought, uh, why not protect that a little bit more? So that was one thing I added. And then I just showed you these pins. Well, in a previous video, I talked about how every time I go into Harbor Freight, and again, not an advertisement for Harbor Freight, but they sell these kits, which are really awesome, with different sizes, uh, different parts, and a lot of these are like between four and eight dollars, maybe nine dollars for something that has a lot of hardware. So every time I go in there, I, I kind of look at them and I, I grab one or two of them um, because it just doesn't seem to feel like it costs that much to buy one or two at a time. And then I always have them. In fact, this one I haven't even opened yet, but I know I'll need you know these cotter pins. Uh, or hitch pins, they you lose those often, and so it's nice to have spares on hand. Anyway, that's just a little um, tip that I like to, like, you know, as I said, I'm out in the country, so it, having the stuff on the shelf whenever I'm doing projects or work or fixing, repairing things, often it's a, it can be a quick repair if I have the parts for it. If not, you know, it could add an hour to an hour and a half of running around, so I thought I'd let you know about that too, just a great little tip, and uh, as you saw, that's exactly where I got these. So I now ne just need to go ahead and drill my holes in this. I'm planning to have it facing up here um, forward so that I can easily get to it uh, to get the straps out or, and the idea is the straps go in here um, just for storage while the, uh, you know, the, the wheel chucks are here. And then when I, once I get the uh, trailer hitch uh, up to the truck and I get the UTV on it and I pull all the straps out of the box to strap the thing down, I can then pull the chucks out and throw them in the box. So while I'm driving, I have a place for everything. It just keeps things neatly in order. Uh, plenty of room up here though with the UTV. Um, with the Porsche, I'll have to remove it. So that's why I'll have those little pins and I can just throw it right in the pickup bed, of course. Um, so it'll work out nicely. Uh, but uh, anyway, that's what's going on now. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of this in fast motion while I'm doing it. And um, and then we'll, uh, we'll see it all together, all right?
All right, so uh, we've got ourselves a toolbox that's on there real well now. And I put got that foam on there so it stays tight, but and I guess if somebody really wanted it, it's not going to have much valuables in there, but they could probably yank hard enough and bend those little pins off. But I thought it was better for me to have the flexibility to be able to uh, uh, <coughs> turn the box around or certainly take it off is the most important thing when I put the uh, bigger vehicles on that need the whole uh, platform space here. I want to uh, I want to do that. So anyway, a storage box add-on, which again I said is it's really cool because it matches the wheel fenders looks like it was made uh, made for the trailer so pretty cool I like it so the other accessory which uh, can be important uh, especially if you have to you know park the trailer or leave it somewhere for long periods of time is this uh, locking the, the ball so that it can't be you know somebody can't just hook onto this thing and drive away with it um, be a shame so which of course isn't gonna happen so the way this one works is you just stick it up in here Lock the ball down. Put your um, just get this guy down as tight as you can. Now she's solid. There we go. A little bit of a rubber cover to protect it, which is good. Now she's not going anywhere. This thing isn't coming up. This thing isn't coming out. The other lock that I bought that I talked about. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Just padlock for a chain. Um, anybody can do that up and that through the bar and onto the frame of the UTV and then we get to go. So that's it. I hope, uh, hope this has been helpful to you and uh, you enjoyed seeing me put this box on, how I can make that uh, flexible and work the way I need it to. Just like the E-Track e system that I have in place, uh, as well as the, the lock, uh, good lock. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, I always love sharing these things with you. Uh, feel free to reach out and uh, ask questions, comments, uh, and uh, give me a thumbs up if you like it, uh, and subscribe if you haven't already. So take care, be well. Uh, enjoyed sharing this with you, and uh, we'll see you again soon. Bye now.